I grew up Catholic, I was baptized as a baby like a lot of us, um, went to Catholic school my whole life. So my teachers and my parents and friends and youth ministers were telling me my whole life that there is this great big God who is our Father, who loves us um, intimately. So I, I always knew that God was there. I think I always believed in God, but like a lot of Catholic school students, I wasn't really convinced that he wanted to have much to do with my life. When I was around 14, I started playing guitar, um, got my hands on my first guitar and, and really got into music, um, got into high school and uh, formed a band with some friends of mine. And uh, we were a really awful cover band. Our, our band name was Sons of Santa. We were a cover band. We played Alice in Chains and Metallica and a lot of hard rock songs. And that, that was kind of where I was. I was going to mass on Sundays, but this was kind of what made my uh, you know, made my heart come to life. Uh, when I was 15, I found myself here on the campus of Franciscan University for my very first summer youth conference. And I had no idea what to expect. Um, to this day, I, I couldn't remember a single thing that one of the speakers shared with us. But something happened to me that weekend. And, and as early as the car trip home, all, all the way back to Texas, I was sitting in the back of the car and I was just thinking about the weekend and God spoke to me uh, almost audibly. And if you've ever had the experience of God speaking to you, then you, then you know that God doesn't need our ears uh, to, to give us a message. He speaks directly to our heart. And, and in a moment in the back of the car, I knew that God wanted me to change schools. He wanted me to transfer out of the school where I was and go to this other school. And I didn't know why. I didn't know what his purpose was or what his plan was. But all of a sudden, I got really excited because this God who was for so long distant from me was now speaking to me. And I was beginning to get excited for what he had in store for me next. So he brought me to this other school. I made some new friends. And, and with my new friends, I started to write songs about my faith, my, my Christian faith, even though it was very young and immature at the time, uh, my friends and I started to write these songs. We started to be invited to retreats and youth conferences where we were asked to, to, to share these songs. Um, and I was just, I just remember looking around thinking, God, what are you doing? I, I didn't plan for this. I don't know what you have in store here. But by the time I was a junior and senior in high school, I knew that God wanted me to put my passion for music and my plans uh, into his mighty and capable hands and to trust him with my future. I wound up here at Franciscan University as a freshman, got involved right away in music ministry here on campus. Um, and in fact, right here in this chapel, um, I, I led worship once a week uh, for Sunday masses and Saturday masses and I was, I was praying and singing with my classmates and my friends. Um, I was involved in a once a month praise and worship, uh, a, night of, a night of music and praise and worship here. And this is where I really felt the Spirit of God confirm my call um, to give my life to God in that way as a, as a, as a musician, as a minister, um, as an evangelist. So that was years ago, but I've never looked back. And um, I could tell you one thing, that if you have the courage to put your life in God's hands, you will never regret that decision. So listen for his voice and watch and see what he'll do with you.